This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. Delighted to be joined here again in Canary Wharf with the amazing Mr. Adam Smith. Adam, how are you, mate? Good, Charlie. How are you? It's been a lively day already. Some press conferences, or many of them. Fantastic women on our card on Saturday night. The only time we've ever got a, a, an all-female show at the O2. And it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be electrifying. And I loved what some of the... The guys and girls are saying up there, everybody, about how women's boxing has just taken front and centre stage in so many ways. And finally, these, these brilliant ladies are having the opportunity to earn some really good money and to, and to fulfil their dreams because they've worked so hard through so much adversity. And uh, I'm really proud that we're, uh, we're a strong part of it. We've all been behind uh, this movement for a long time. And, um, yeah, it'll be a very proud moment to see it all unfold on Saturday. Well, Adam, before we get into what we just saw in the press conference, we have just been seeing on social media and, and whatever about potentially, you know, the Queen's family are, are by her bed. The royal family have issued a, a message saying that she's not in good in a great way. Um, the, you know, the royal family's doctors are monitoring her, but since then we're seeing more and more news. Um, just, just your message on the whole situation, really. Charlie, I've just been told that myself. Obviously, we're involved in, in, in the conferences. Um, yeah, terribly worrying news, and, and uh, our hearts and thoughts go out at the moment, obviously, to the Queen and the Royal Family. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very worrying to see that the, the children are at the bedside, etc. So um, our thoughts are with her, and um, may her fight on, and may her get... Um, hopefully get better and, uh, and our health will be, uh, be intact and good. Um, but obviously we wait for, for further developments on that front. And um, yeah, none of this sport or anything around the country takes you know, any, there's nothing more important than the, the, uh, the queen of our, our nation's health. And um, obviously um, all we can say is our thoughts are, are with them all and um, we wait for, uh, for more updates. Well said. We will go into the press conference. Um, I mean, I, I just tweeted out, Clarissa can really sell a fight. I mean, that was incredible. We saw, uh, I think you went to Savannah first and, and, no, no, sorry. I think you went to Clarissa first and she spoke quite well. No interruptions from Savannah. Uh, Savannah speaks and the interruptions are there, but sort of necessary interruptions. When you, when you want a fight of this magnitude, you need it to be sold like this. And that's how it was sold. Um, just an incredible press conference. One of the best press conferences I've ever been at. I think, I think it goes very deep, doesn't it? I mean, ultimately, they, they were rivals 10 years ago. Clarissa is a winner by nature, and the one defeat she's had in 78 amateur contests and 12 professional ones, winning all this treasure, uh, is that it must be slightly burning inside her. I, I don't really believe that she can go for her career without fighting Savannah Marshall and, and trying to beat her and exact revenge. Um, as far as Savannah goes, she's blossomed in the last couple of years, particularly she's oozing confidence. She stands as the world middleweight champion. She, like Clarissa, is undefeated as a pro. Don't forget, she was a fantastic amateur as well, winning the Worlds, winning the Commonwealths, and being unlucky at times where she had injuries and a lack of confidence. But she's flying now, and she's flying, and I think, I think we can see that ever since... Uh, Cardiff and, and the early part of the year when she was getting under Clarissa's skin. Um, ultimately, words matter less now as the fight approaches. They've both got to get their tactics right. It is a 50-50 fight. However Clarissa sees it, however Dimitri sees it, however Savannah and Peter see it, because of uh, Savannah's power and the fact she's, she's now really finding herself uh, in the ring. And um, Clarissa's in for one massive challenge on Saturday night. She believes she's uh, too good for Savannah. The team believes she's uh, a level or two above, maybe elite. And uh, we've known Savannah for a long time and I think she's an elite fighter too. So uh, may the best woman win. It's a fantastic fight and it's going to be a cracker. Well, on that note, JJ's asking me to move. I think we're doing a Savannah Marshall scrum here. So we'll pick up back up in a minute if that's okay.